We're gonna do our old high reg <laughs> Wow, tongue twister. Whew. This is a little tight. And I just take it and fill in these edges, honey. Cause what? My edges are thin. <laughs> of course, come on here. Girl, we're headed out, let's get ready. We're gonna go from this to this. We got a whole process to get through. Let me finish my chips. So good. We're gonna do our oral hygiene. <laughs> let's do our oral, wow, tongue twister. Oral hygiene routine, starting off with floss. Because sour cream and onion chips are not, we still need to have fresh breath, okay? Oral hygiene is wicked important to me. You gotta make sure you're taking care of that. Love a good electric toothbrush. I'll link all the products that I use below. I love using this Colgate Optic White toothpaste because it keeps my teeth whitened in between whitening sessions. And to be honest, I have not whitened in maybe over a year. Tongue scraper, very important. We don't want bad breath. It's just disgusting, okay? Let's get that going. This mouthwash is my absolute favorite. I've been using this for maybe a year now and it is fan. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Sometimes it malfunctions, I gotta be honest. Cause it has two chambers. One gives you a clear liquid, one gives you a green liquid. And sometimes it malfunctions where it gets stuck. Ugh. Hang on. So when you peel the plastic off of this, there are two holes that the plastic has to come out of. One of them, yeah, still has the plastic on it. So if you ever buy this and it gets stuck, that's what it is. It's annoying, but this stuff is good. Okay, let's pour it in. There we go. Now it's time to wash my hair, cause what? I had my hair in a slick back bun for two days. It's time to get all this out. We're gonna shampoo, condition, and I'm thinking of a half a path down look today. It's been a while, let's do that. One of the things I love about being natural is that I can easily change my hairstyle depending on what I'm doing. So this hairstyle I chose specifically because of the outfit that I'm wearing because it's going to be showing the neck and the chest. So I'm starting off with the shampoo and I like this one from Briogeo because it feels like a little bit of a tingle on my scalp and it gets sudsy really quickly. I am heavy handed as you can see, but you know, it, it still looks really well. I like this shampoo a lot. And you know, if you see my videos, I like to use this Tresemme conditioner because the, the container is humongous. It lasts forever. I have it on subscribe and save through Amazon. I use this all the time. It gets the hair nice and slippery and it allows me to comb through and detangle wicked easy. And speaking of detangling, this brush is from Pattern Beauty and I enjoy it. It helps to slip through the hair very easily and detangle it. And then I'm just now using this Hair Proud Hair Revival Leave-In Scalp and Hair Moisturizer. I'm not a fan of spraying on a leave-in conditioner. The spraying just feels like it takes a long time. Now when it comes to my skin, I'm starting off with this Panoxyl face wash. This has a BHA in it, which cleans deep down into the pores and also exfoliates the skin. So I'm using this on my ears, back of my neck, armpits, groin, back and front, because I want to one, kill the odor causing bacteria and two, on my ears and my neck, I wanna get off any of that conditioner because you know conditioner leaves a film on the hair. I don't want that on my skin. And sometimes body wash, it doesn't do the job the way that I need it to. So I love to use Panoxyl to do that. And I do use this on my face sometimes. I'm using this Ilia Foaming Cleanser that I've been enjoying for quite some time now. So when it comes to body wash, I'm using this one from Maud. To me, it feels like a gentle cleanser for the body. I like to get this as sudsy as possible and really cleanse the skin from top to bottom. We're going for very clean, hydrated, fresh smelling, beautiful looking all of the things today, okay? So give this body a good wash. And now we need to moisturize. I absolutely love this Sal Gennaro moisturizer, but let me tell you, my only gripe with it is that it takes an arm and a leg to rub it into the skin. I wish that it just didn't sit on the skin so much, but does it smell good? Absolutely. Reminiscent of Baccarat 540, I absolutely love this moisturizer. It is insane. All links are below, as I mentioned before. And then this all over body deodorant from Lumi is really good too. There are a lot of the scents that are so nasty. This one actually smells really good. So I've been enjoying this on my arm pits, you use it like you would a lotion in all the areas, literally all the areas. And it helps to make sure that you smell really, really good. And normally in the shower, I, I would do an Olay body conditioner, but I just felt like getting out of the shower. I was tired, it was enough. Okay, now skincare. I've already put on the Thayer's Milky Toner while I was doing my body routine because the last thing you want is for your face to get dry. So that's what I have on right now and my face is definitely being maintained. I did shave this morning, so my face is extremely smooth and clear. Let's do our skincare. You want it to be wet because it'll just help all the other products to absorb better. So let's just wet it again with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. 
You've seen me use this a trillion times. It's the Sulawesi First Care Activating Serum. Let's get some of this onto the skin. And now for eye cream, this is the Paula's Choice C5 Super Boost Eye Cream. I don't have vitamin C. Even though it's dinner, it's still daytime. So I'm gonna use this Butter Skin Vitamin C Serum. When daylight is still out, it means I'm gonna use SPF. And if I'm gonna use SPF, I'm gonna use vitamin C. Keeping the brows because they are microbladed, I don't want those to lighten up. The vitamin C is perfect in conjunction with your SPF during the day to lighten dark spots. It is a thick moisturizer. This is the Sunday Riley Ceramide Moisturizing Cream, the ICE. I'm gonna use a little bit of this <laughs> because this is really nice and thick for the evening time. I don't need this thick for the day, but it's what I had next to me. And then the last step, this is a Super Goop Daily Dose Hydra Ceramide Boost in SPF. This one has an SPF of 40. It is an oil. It's going to make my face even more <laughs> shiny and that's okay that is okay listen the skin beneath the makeup needs love too part of my hair in half I'm gonna use the pattern beauty herhoba oil blend I parted my hair in half taking some of this toward the back half of the hair just to add some more moisture because this is gonna go in a bun and it'll go underneath the half up half down situation I think I made this part too <laughs> too thin Thick. Hold on, hold on. I've made this part smaller in the past. To the top part, some more of this oil. <laughs> of course, come on here. Especially in the front, because that's where I'm gonna put all that gel, you feel me? And then I'm gonna adhere this while I apply the gel and the got to be, and then we're gonna take it off and fix it up again. Lots of gel, gel is water-based, so it's gonna take time for this to dry. I would do it with my edge control and then got to be, but that'd be leaving me with white ashiness. I don't like that, so this is what I do. Let's brush all this up to lay it down. Gather it back and then tie this ponytail tighter. Usually when I do this top thing, I have this bun a lot more forward and uh, you know, it's okay that it's back. It don't need to be so freaking on my freaking face like it be sometimes. It looks all curly and crazy, we gonna fix all that because I want this to lay as much as possible. Right now it's curly and frizzy. This is where it really gets laid down with this got to be glue. A lot of this, especially right here at the top where my hair is even more dense. Let's slick all this down even more. And here's the part where you can make your edges look all fancy and all of that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just depends on how I'm feeling, you know? Love me some wrapping strips. These are gonna allow for the hair to dry faster than if I were to use some kind of cotton head tie. All right, let's unveil this. <laughs> And put on the wig and get this makeup going. This is the wig right here that I'm using. It's the two-piece set situation from Amazon. I've used this for many years, so many times. And I love this style. You got a comb here on the bottom, two combs here at the top. So on the back of the hair, you could put a net, but I ain't got time for that. Oh wait, one other thing too, is that there's a drawstring. Let's tighten that. Okay, I just tighten the drawstring. Oh, there are two combs in the back, okay. Well, there we go. I'm putting it into the top of the hair just so that we don't see that part. So you could put it back, you know, behind the part, but I'm gonna go right up here just to oof, get up in there. Now for the ponytail piece, here it is. And it has this part that you can use to wrap around the base of the bun. The ponytail part does have a comb, so let's stick this right here on the top. And then we're gonna wrap it around and pin it. And you can hairspray it, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like it. I don't be doing the hairspray thing. If I write this around one more time, you'll see the bottom, because this is two-toned. If I just stayed right here, then I'll have the black. And the black is what I want. So I'm not gonna wrap this around a second time. So let's pin this down. Tuck it back. Sometimes the bun be poking out, you feel me? So I'm gonna just pin this a little bit in the back. Okay, one thing to note is that it has been hours since I did my skincare routine. So my skincare has settled into my skin really well. Although you might feel like it still looks shiny, but this is what I like. I like my skin to look really healthy beneath my makeup. I'm gonna use this one size, turn up the base, BB cream, BBB cream, and the shade is D3N. This is going to be deeper than my skin tone, but in the best way. And I recall it being very matte and very pigmented, hence why I used 
that small amount. Let's see. Oh yeah, I need some more though. And this is a Sigma flat Kabuki brush. Links to all products are below. We're going for full coverage, which is really every day. For concealer, I'm gonna use the LYX Triple Fix Concealer. Let's see, this is DG6. Let's see by itself. I don't know, this might be good. I like how it's yellow. Cause this foundation is pulling more red than I recall. It's gonna work. It's just more red than I would like right now. So this golden yellow undertone is going to be great to offset it. Got my e.l.f. makeup sponge, which is damp. DG6 by itself looks really good. You know, I love a good contour. This is the LYS Stick Bronzer in the shade No Limits Worthy. This stuff is deep, like nice and chocolatey and dark, okay? This is the Sephora 56 Pro Foundation Brush. Love the shape of it, because it gets right up in here to blend all of this. Look at that shade. Yes, honey. Mm, my brushes smell so good. I cleaned them yesterday after doing my makeup with this Cinema Secrets Pro Brush Cleaner. It smells like vanilla and it dries quickly. Great brush cleaner to use right after you do your makeup or even while doing it. If you don't have many brushes, you can do it while you're doing it if you need to use that brush to do something else. It dries very quickly, especially for your eyes. Now let's get these edges filled in. Color Wow from Sephora. It's a powder and it has this brush in it. And I just take it and fill in these edges, honey. Cause what? My edges are thin. You know, edge thinning can be hormonal. It could be a result of lots of different things. I don't even have time to figure out what it is. I just fill them in and keep pushing, you feel me? Immediately under my eye, I'm gonna use this LYS translucent banana powder. You feel me? This is too many names. It's just too many names. I'm again too tongue twisted, okay? I'm gonna blend this to make sure that there's no creasing. Put this directly under my eye. Then I love using my Huda Glowish Luminous Setting Powder to set the rest of the eye. I just cleaned this yesterday, so the shape is looking real wild. Like, come on. I like how this sets, but also gives that luminosity. It's all gonna come together once I powder my face. For the rest of the highlighted areas, I'm gonna take the same banana powder from LIS Beauty. Further highlighting and then mattifying the area that I highlighted. And it looks a little crazy. <laughs> It's going to all come together. LYS bronzer powder, the same color worthy. This is a 459 brush and I'm going to deepen this some more and mattify it. And then let's deepen this area up right here. We're going to diffuse that so that's not too harsh. And then for face powder, this is of Kosa's Cloud Set in the shade Velvety. And the face powder really brings everything together. You feel me? It connects the highlight with the contour, the contour with the face so that nothing is too harsh and stark looking. This is with leftover product from the contour to make sure that that's not been lost with all that face powder. Okay, love. And then the Rare Beauty highlighter, this is a shade Flaunt, taking it with my finger, which warms up the product going right down the middle of the nose just love that gotta go right here right here see that Mm, 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 mm. For blush, I love and live by this Denise Myrick's Golden Hour Yummy Skin, excuse me. Using the flat end of this e.l.f. makeup sponge. All links are below. Wiping off the excess, cause this is very pigmented as you can see. And let's blend. Gosh, this blush is pigmented. It looks so good. <laughs> One thing this blush is gonna do is show up leftover product to make sure that there's a gradient toward the back part of this face, okay? And now let's do eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in the color Natural Black. I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Palette. I love this because it has all the colors you could need for a very, I almost wanna say basic, but it's not. Okay, for a soft glam makeup look. See how I didn't put any eyeshadow base on? Whenever I do these brown looks, I just throw this on and it just, it stays, it works. I know. I wanted to do a black smoky eye today, but I ain't got the time, baby. And this look always eats, it always hits, okay? So we're gonna warm up the crease with this reddish brown color. I feel like a broken record, but this could be your, your your first video of mine. And this is important. I love to make my brows look different with makeup on than with makeup. Love to open up this space. This is a Sephora number 14 brush. I've been forgetting that these things have mirrors. I'm gonna go right under here with this reddish brown color. And in the same palette, we're gonna use a brown color to do this brown smoky eye. 
The thing about this look is that to me, it's versatile. It's a soft glam look. It can be a wedding day look. It can be a date night look. It can be an everyday look. This is an all weather look. I mean, this is everything, okay? And that's why I do it so much. I used to do so many different eye looks and this is one that I have in the rotation heavy. And there are a few palettes that can get you to achieve this look. This is the current palette that I have been binging on. And there are different variations you can do with what goes on the lid, but the crease will always be a reddish brown, no matter what palette I'm using. I always put a reddish brown in the crease. Let's bring this chocolate color down onto the eyes. Love, 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 love. Wiping off the excess on the towel in front of me, and now I'm blending. In the inner eye, I'm gonna use this golden frosty color. Actually, it's more of a wine. Okay, I haven't used this in a while, it's a wine. I like it. This is the Give Beauty 24 Hour Gel Pencil Eyeliner. Let's get this in the waterline. Makes the eye look more dramatic, a little smoky. Well, more smoky than it already is, you feel me? It makes a difference. I love a good smudged eyeliner on the top line as well. Smudging it out with this flat liner brush from MAC that I've had for so long. Okay, so when it comes to mascara, let's see. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on the top. Even though I'm gonna wear falsies, I do a mascara first before I put on the false lash strip. The lip liner is Devoted from LYS Beauty. The inner lip is 192 Forever Matte from Makeup Forever. This gloss is new. I've never used this from Happiness Cosmetics and the shade is Bailey's. Okay, here's a finished look. It has gotten so dark outside, but let's get ready. Let's get dressed. 